probably um, Italia 90, I think. Uh, the England team over there. Yeah. Um, playing, that was my first real memory that I kind of still got memories of, like certain players, the tournament itself. Scalacci, them kind of players, and Toto Scalacci. Toto Scalacci, blast from the past. What that. a legend he was! <laughs> but the kind of names and, and kind of that era just kind of sticks with me a little bit. Yeah. At what age did you realise you had a special talent? Around 12, 13, 14. Obviously, I was at different clubs, and Man United come in for me, Arsenal, Chelsea, um, and I kind of been around a, a, a few clubs, and it was kind of around then that I realised that you know things were happening and I had an opportunity uh, to get in the game but I just kind of let my dad and my mum take care of that and I just wanted to play football really. You were a centre mid weren't you? I did, I started off up until uh, YTS at Chelsea actually. So I was in as a midfielder, wasn't making the squad in the first four youth youth cup games um, and league games as well. Yeah. We had three sicknesses overnight um, in, in central defence so Ted Dow asked me would I play centre half? I said yeah of course I will. We played Derby, we won 4 1, I scored two, played really well. <laughs> from centre back? From centre half, yeah, from set plays. They're not from, <laughs> they weren't, they weren't made these sort of dribbles. Yeah. Bomb in, run, box to box. Set play, standard set plays and headers, mate, you know, but um, had a really good game and that was it. I stayed in the youth team uh, from then on and continued to play centre half. Brian Robson, Tony Adams, players that, that play with their heart on their sleeve and kind of give everything, would kind of throw their face and their bodies in front of balls and to stop it in and, and kind of drove other players around them as well. I love to see that as a youngster and it was them two kind of really stick out for me. Being a, a centre half and then Deso E come in and he would, I was like 16, 17 and he would, he would pull me to the side after training and give me little bits of advice and it was like the year they won the World Cup and then he's having conversations with me about things I need to improve upon, things I need to work on, both on and off the pitch. He'd have his arm around me, he'd know my name. And it, was, it just meant so much to me as a, as a young 16, 17 year old boy. It was something that kind of stayed with me throughout my career. Yeah. After that, that just like the other youth team players, like, oh my God, he knows your name. And it was like Marcel Desai. Champions League games as well, you'd be, so League games you'd always get up for it anyway, but then Champions League games are always special, you'd obviously won it with, with Milan and stuff. But you'd be standing in, in the lineup before and the music would come on and he'd be saying to me along the line, JT, this is the music, listen to this music. And the Champions League music would be playing, I'll get goosebumps, but even when it comes on now, I've still got him, JT, and I end up looking, like, <laughs> looking for Marcel. <laughs> Where are you, mate? <laughs> First game was against Villa, actually, in the cup. Mad, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Strange how it's kind of full circled on Villa now, obviously, but yeah. come on for about two minutes, I think, at the end of the game, we won 4 1. And uh, But just a special occasion for me, but like I say, full circle, I'm at Villa now. Yeah. And uh, I'm loving it. First goal was against Gillingham in the cup, 5 0. Head up again. Yeah, that's all I scored was headers, <laughs> wasn't it? <laughs> But it was, uh, again, I, I didn't really know what to do, how to celebrate, and um, just run, run into the crowd. I run into yeah. the crowd. I put it off my Instagram the other day, and I got a, a message from the, the boy that was there with his dad, that I oh. grabbed his dad and hugged him, and then he messaged me saying, that, that, that was me in the video and stuff with my dad. Yeah. And it's stuff like that, that you kind of, like making memories for families as well. Yeah, it's exactly. like stuff like that I'll never forget. It will stay with me forever. What you did for my family is amazing as well, so. <clears throat> Thank Proper you very much. Chelsea, mate, you know that. Proper Chelsea and Dad's ashes are underneath the ground thanks yeah, to you, yeah. so thank you. That's what we do. Nervous? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was, yeah. I remember It must of... have been mad because you've been at Chelsea your whole life. Yeah. And then go, hey, a new club. Mm. You, you've got the first day at school. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. I was more nervous about the song, to be honest. I was training, <laughs> you know, and I'll be fine, but the, uh, the, honestly, I didn't sleep for. We went away to Portugal pre season. And I'm like, I want to do my song first day again. No, no, wait a little bit. Lads kind of made me wait about a week. Yeah. But tubes, I weren't sleeping. I promise you, I wasn't sleeping. I'd wake up at like three in the morning and, you know, with the, with the song, oh, lads, I need to do my song. And they just made me wait a few more days and then kind of come down to the other hole. Sod it, I'm doing it tonight. Yeah. So uh, in the bar at the hotel, there was like a, a geezer on the, on the guitar. Yeah. So I went in the bar, the lads are in. I've got the, the fella from the bar and he's like, what's going on here? I said, do you know, uh, stand by me? He was like, yeah. So I said, follow me. So we've gone in, I've gone right. And he started playing stand by me and I've just come out of it. So darling, darling, stand by me. Oh, stand by me. Oh, stand by me. Now I won't 
Be, be afraid. afraid. <laughs> no, I won't. <laughs> First day, Gaff was like, go on then, let's see what you've got. But, yeah, well, like, brilliant, but I was like, again, you're really nervous, even though, like, I could go and speak in front of, you know, 42, 80,000 people yeah. on a mic after, no problem at all. But when you're kind of thrown in that environment that you're not used to, it's intimidating. Yeah. But as well, it's like that first, what the gaffer was great to me because he just threw me in the deep end and, like, come on, you. Go and do it. Yeah, go and do it. And, and that's served me well. He's been brilliant with me and, and, and Villa have as well. And has it given you the taste? you know, to go on and become, a, you know, an actual manager. It's clear from, from my end that that's my end goal, I want to be yeah. a manager. I'm really pleased that I've kind of come in on an assistance role. Yeah. And I'm working under Dean, I'm learning from Dean um, literally every single day. Eventually, that's my end goal, of course. But uh, like I said, fully concentrated this year on being Aston Villa's assistant um, head coach and keeping us in the league. Absolutely, and uh, best of luck for the final on Sunday, Cheers, mate. mate. Thanks cool. very much. Brilliant. Cheers, mate. Thanks Good to see you.